Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for uh, joining us for today's edition of Space Station Live this Tuesday, June 11th. Top in today's news for the International Space Station and the Expedition 36 crew, a Russian cargo vehicle safely and successfully undocked from the orbiting complex this morning. Physical separation was confirmed at 8.58 a.m. Central Time as the two vehicles flew at an altitude of about 258 statute miles as it passed over southeast Russia. The Progress 51 spacecraft had delivered roughly three tons of supplies, including food, water, and oxygen for the crew, as well as equipment for conducting uh, scientific research back in April. The cargo ship had launched from the uh, Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan back on April 24th and docked to the station two days later on a standard two-day rendezvous. Shortly after liftoff, however, the uh, cargo ship had failed to deploy an antenna that is uh, used for navigation. Despite deployment of the Kurs antenna, Progress 51 achieved a successful docking to the International Space Station on the 26th of April. The cargo craft will now park at a safe distance away from the space station for a few days for engineering tests to calibrate Russian radar systems on the ground. It will then deorbit for a destructive reentry over the Pacific Ocean on June 19. Meanwhile, the uh, automated transfer vehicle, the Albert Einstein, which launched last week, continues to phase toward the uh, station today with two burns of thrusters planned to uh, mimic collision avoidance maneuvers that would be conducted in the unlikely event that the Albert and Einstein would have to uh, abort the station during its final approach for docking. The link-up of the Albert Einstein to the aft port of the Zvezda service module, which is was uh, cleared with the uh, undocking of the progress today, it's uh, scheduled to take place on Saturday at 8.46 a.m. Central Time. Before this morning's successful undocking, the space station crew members had uh, began their day with some time this morning for work prep, breakfast, morning hygiene, and a daily station inspection. Flight engineers Misurkin and Parmitano spent some time this morning in the second round of an onboard training for the approach and docking of the ATV-4 cargo craft that is to arrive on Saturday. They will uh, be inside the Zvesta on Saturday morning when the Albert Einstein systems and the rendezvous and navigational equipment will be used during the ship's final approach. Flight engineers Misurkin and Yurchikin had their sights trained on their June 24th spacewalk just outside the uh, piers docking compartment. They are continuing preparations today that include the setup of equipment inside the piers airlock. Flight engineer Chris Cassidy continued yesterday's work with the fluids integrated rack today. He and flight engineer Karen Nyberg worked together to prepare samples for a test run within the uh, fluids integrated rack, which is a uh, complementary fluid physics research facility. Cassidy also performed some follow-up work with the spheres activity that was conducted a couple weeks ago. Cassidy also will work inside the microgravity science glove box to gather and stow away the BASS experiment hardware. BASS is known as the burning and suppression of solids study uh, studies the characteristics of a wide variety of fuel samples in microgravity. Research results may aid in the design of uh, fire detection and suppression systems in microgravity and on Earth. Also today, Cassidy and uh, flight engineers Karen Nyberg and Luca Parmitano will be participating in a uh, periodic countermeasure fitness evaluation. This is conducted once a month during their stay aboard the uh, their long duration mission. They uh, work today with the onboard SLAM D equipment that is uh, enables each uh, crew member to take his or her own body mass measurements. Nyberg also will participate in an on-orbit hearing assessment today. This is Mission Control Houston.